Hello, I'm Jonas from Hidean, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Imer 3 system, the initial setup. So here we have it in the box. I'll just remove the box. This foam insert also fits a Pelican 1450 case, so if you want to have a sturdier box, it's easy to, uh, to move it into a, a Pelican 1450. Here we have the hand unit, the receiver, it's a very small receiver. And in this case, I have three of our new M26V LX motors. So slide it on like this. If you want to change the, the side of the gear, it just snaps on and off. So it's very easy. Put it on iris. Put it on focus and uh, we also have a new accessory this hinged rod mount so you can put it on even if you can slide it on you can still mount it and it's like this and to connect the cables each on the receiver each channel has its own port so I put the cable in the motor for iris I put it in iris then I take the motor for zoom and I put it in the port for zoom and then I take the motor for focus and I put it in the port for focus and then connect the power and put it into the tab. Then I can start the hand unit and I can either do a calibration from the receiver or from the hand unit. So now it will automatically calibrate the lens, find all the edges. If for example you have no end stops or a lens with that's very rough so it can't really detect the end stop, there is a manual calibration. So on each channel you have a uh, um, a manual button, you push here, it goes into manual calibration mode, move by hand, lens from end stop to end stop, press again, and then it's calibrated. So now I have iris, I have zoom here, also if you press here we have a control for, for setting the zoom speed, the top speed of the zoom. And then we have focus. What's also unique about the IMER system is that if you leave the hand unit and you need to go and control the camera, you have the manual override function. So you can go in and override manually, move the lens, and when you get back to the control, it goes back and it's still calibrated. So no risk of, of uh, damaging lenses because you're in the calibration. You don't need to lift the motor off to do this. So, and this is a short introduction to show the, the initial features. The next videos we're going to show the lens mapping features and other more advanced features. Thank you.